Well, let's turn to the latest voting results that are pouring in. Hwang Jie joins me now in the studio. So, Jie, six hours uh, have passed since the uh, polls closed at 6 p.m. We're getting a clearer picture as to how this will go, but some races still seem uncertain. Yes, and the results as of 11.30 p.m. still show a lot of gray areas, as you said, except for the pretty obvious regions where the ruling, either where either the ruling Henry Party or the opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy Party or NPAD is traditionally strongly supported. And take a look at this graphic map. We're seeing clear favorites of the ruling Senori Party in the bottom right, the southeast region, which means the ruling party managed to be ahead of its rival candidates in its traditional strongholds, whereas on the bottom left, the southwest regions, the main opposition, NPAD is taking a strong lead, managing to do the same. So exit polls showed that Park Won Soon, the incumbent mayor of Seoul, had an obvious win right. over his rival. What are the actual results showing now? I mean, the actual results are also very similar to the exit polls. And the incumbent Seoul Mayor Park Won Soon from the main opposition party is ahead of its rival, Jung Mong Jun, from the ruling party by a wide margin, and that is by more than 15 percentage points. And I mean, Seoul mayorship carries an extra weight in the Korean politics as it's widely considered to establish a foothold for becoming. The nation's president. Right, so that seemed to be the premier race. What are some of the other races around the Seoul area? Um, they're showing very tight races currently. In Gyeonggi-do province, Nam Gyeong-pil, who's a very well recognized Korean politician uh, from the ruling Senori party, is winning over his rival Kim Jin pyo by around three percentage points. So we're seeing some extremely tight race over there. And in another highly contested region, Incheon candidate Yu Jung Bok from the ruling Senori party is uh, again winning over the incumbent op opposition mayor's Hong Young Gil by five percentage points. So we'll have to keep an eye on these two regions till we get the real results. Right. And so let's move uh, away from the capital region. What are some of the uh, contested races outside? in the uh, larger context. Right, first in Busan, which is a traditional stronghold of the ruling Senori party, the ruling party candidate Seo byung -soo is taking the lead by about five percentage points against his rival uh, independent candidate Oh Go Don. But in Gwangju, the liberals' power base election results show that the NPAD's Yoon Jang Hyun is likely to win against the independent Kang Eun Tae. In Daegu, the ruling party candidate Kwon Young Jin is a clear leader against his opposition party rival Kim bu -gyum. All right, so it seems as if regionalism was still alive right. and well in this election. Yes, and uh, Daegu was surprisingly expected to show a neck-and-neck -neck race um, while it's a traditional stronghold of the ruling Senori party. And previous elections, the voter turnout remained below 50 percent. And what is more interesting is that the elections ended in a sweeping victory for the uh, ruling Senori Party candidates. But as you said, there were no surprises. And apart from that, with so many race regions still showing a tight race, we'll have to wait until for the final results to come out. All right. And we'll get closer to that at 2 a.m. when you'll right. be back here in the studio to okay. give us the latest updates. Thank you, G.A.